I'm very worried about my son. More than worried at this point. Terrified. His behavior these past few weeks is not normal. Not healthy. It makes me think there's something wrong. At first, he would just come and stand at the doorway. He did this at night just before I'd be ready to fall asleep. I'd roll over to turn off the lamp and he'd be standing there in the doorway. I used to try to speak to him. I don't do that anymore. He never has answered me. He just stares. A couple of days ago, he graduated from standing in the doorway to coming in and sitting on the bed. He still doesn't speak. I have asked him what he wants. I've asked him if anything is bothering him. It's not like him to be so quiet. He usually waits until my wife is asleep. That's the part that gets me. She always falls asleep before me, and he has never come in when she's awake. But then, she didn't have a hand in this. If something doesn't change soon, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm starting to feel like he knows that I'm the one who killed him. The Lavender Town Syndrome, also known as Lavender Town Tone or Lavender Town Suicides, was a peak in suicides and illness of children between the ages of 7 and 12, shortly after the release of Pokemon Red and Green in Japan, back in February 27, 1996. Rumors say that these suicides and illness only occurred after the children playing the game reached Lavender Town, whose theme music had extremely high frequencies that studies showed that only children and young teens can hear, since their ears are more sensitive. Due to Lavender Town, at least 200 children supposedly committed suicide, and many more developed illnesses and afflictions. The children who committed suicide usually did so by hanging or jumping from heights. Those who did not acted irrationally, complained of severe headaches after listening to Lavender Town's theme. Although Lavender Town now sounds differently depending on the game, this mass hysteria was caused by the first Pokemon game released. After the Lavender Tone incident, the programmers had fixed Lavender Town's theme music to be at a lower frequency, and since, children were no longer affected by it. One video appeared in 2010 using special software to analyze the audio of Lavender Town's music. When played, the software created images of the unknown near the end of the audio. This raised a controversy, since the unknown didn't appear until the Generation 2 games, Silver, Gold, and Crystal. The unknown translate to, Leave. Now. There is also the said beta version of Lavender Town. It is said that the beta version of Pocket Monsters was released to some kids to test the games. This is what the Lavender Town theme music sounds like. There was a hunter in the woods who, after a long day hunting, was in the middle of an immense forest. It was getting dark and having lost his bearings, he decided to head in one direction until he was clear of the increasingly oppressive foliage. After what seemed like hours, he came across a cabin in a small clearing. Realizing how dark it had grown, he decided to see if he could stay there for the night. He approached and found the door ajar. Nobody was inside. The hunter flopped down on the single bed, deciding to explain himself to the owner in the morning. As he looked around the inside of the cabin, he was surprised to see the walls adorned by several portraits, all painted in incredible detail. Without exception, they appeared to be staring down at him, their features twisted in looks of hatred and malice. Staring back, he grew increasingly uncomfortable, making a concerted effort to ignore the many hateful faces. He turned to face the wall, and exhausted, he fell into a restless sleep. The next morning, the hunter awoke. He turned blinking in unexpected sunlight. Looking up, he discovered that the cabin had no portraits, only windows. <laughs> 